Hi friends, for today's Read Aloud, we're going to be reading a nonfiction book about ladybugs. There are some illustrations in this book, so it looks like it might be a fiction story, but it's all real information, so we can say that it is a nonfiction book. This book is called Are You a Ladybug? And what I want you to pay attention is to the answer to that question. You're going to be learning about ladybugs, but you're also going to be comparing things that ladybugs can do to things that you can do. At the end of the story, the author does reveal the answer to that question, and we're going to be writing about it today. So as you learn about ladybugs, I want you to think about, are there some things that you and a ladybug can do? And are there some things that a ladybug can do that people cannot? So we're going to be doing a little bit of comparing today. This book is called Are You a Ladybug? And it's by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are You a Ladybug? Are you a ladybug? If you are, your parents look like this and they eat aphids. When your mother lays her eggs, you are inside one of them. While you're in there, you will grow. When you have grown big enough, break out of the egg. Similar to another insect that we studied. You have a lot of brothers and sisters. If you look at them, you might think that they have all made a big mistake. None of you is the same shape as a ladybug. None of you is colorful as a ladybug. Don't worry about this. Just eat. Eat your own eggshell first. Then eat aphids. Eat lots of aphids. They are easy to catch and they are very good for you. As you grow bigger, your skin will feel tight. This is not a problem. Soon it will split down the middle. Wriggle out of it and take it off. Then eat more aphids. As you grow, you must take off your skin again and again. Each time, there is a new one underneath. Keep eating the aphids. One day you will feel very tired. Stop eating. Curl up like this. Take off your skin one more time. Now wait for your new skin to grow hard. When your hard skin splits, Climb out of it one last time. Now you are the right shape, but you are not the right color. You are very, very pale. Just wait. Slowly, 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 your color grows stronger. Your black dots appear. Congratulations, you're a ladybug. You can fly. You are very hungry, so look for something to eat. Aphids will do nicely. However, if your parents look a lot like this, or this, or this, you are not a ladybug. You are a human child. Your skin will not split as you grow. You can't fly. It is very unlikely that you are red with black dots. But you can do a lot of things that ladybugs can't do. And you will never, ever, ever have to eat aphids. The end. And at the end of this book, there's some really interesting facts about ladybugs. I'm going to share a few of them with you. This one says that there are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. They are not all red with black spots. Some are black with red spots. Interesting. 
This is an interesting fact, and it says, Ladybugs are not dangerous to humans, but they can bite. Their mouths are just too small for us to even notice. And animals and birds won't eat ladybugs because they taste terrible. Very interesting. Now, most ladybugs, this fact is, is one of my favorites. Most ladybugs have seven spots, but it's possible to see a two spot or a five spot or even a yellow and black 22 spot ladybug. <laughs> All right. I hope you heard the answer to our question, are you a ladybug? For today's writing, you're going to be answering that question and giving a reason why you are or are not a ladybug.